All right, we got some serious industrial equipment up there. Big ditch digger, Brad. It re gotta remind you of some of the days when you used to work in the in industry. Uh, when I worked in the industry as a welder and a fabricator and stuff like that, yeah, we used to build raised bore heads. Go online, Ingersoll Rand, look up raised bore heads. Raised bore heads can be six foot in diameter up to 29 feet is what the biggest one we built. The biggest one we built went to Homestead, uh, Homestakes gold mine in uh, South Dakota. And uh, anyway, you drill a hole two foot in diameter down through. You take your uh, raised bore head in through the tunnel. All right, and then you take the drill stem and you take it down in there, and I'm explaining this quickly. Uh, you screw it onto the raised bore head, then you have a big machine on top that had four one million pound pull hydraulic cylinders, had 200 horse electric motor that ran through a gearbox, and then they would pull this thing, rotating it up through the earth, and that's what they call a raised bore head. And that would be an elevator shaft and an air shaft to go up through to the surface, called a raised bore head, Ingersoll Rand. That was back in about 1974, 75. It would auger a hole through the earth 29 feet in diameter. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com.